In this video we'll talk about some additional features that are available in the Power Search for Dialog Component uh, feature pack. So the uh, previous videos have shown how you can uh, use the Dialog Component to build a search part and apply a search to an embedded uh, grid component that is embedded onto a Dialog. In this video we're going to show how instead of searching the embedded grid you can link the embedded grid and um, the uh, difference between searching and linking is that uh, linking uh, causes the link fields uh, in the embedded grid to automatically be assigned to the corresponding linking value from the parent. So it's a way of uh, causing a child grid to be automatically linked, for example, to uh, data in a parent component. So uh, if we go back here to design mode, we can see we have um, our dialog with a, a bunch of fields here and then a button and then an embedded grid over there. So if we go over to working preview, we can see there's our embedded grid. And if I now go and press the link button, you can see now that um, the, the embedded uh, grid component is now only displaying records for state equals Massachusetts but that the new record also has Massachusetts already filled in and in fact you can't override that even if you were to go here and add a new record and then change the state from Massachusetts to say California when you hit the commit it, alpha 5 would force the linking value to be uh, Massachusetts and that's the key difference between linking and filtering or searching so if I were to go there and type in say uh, California and then hit link you can see now we've um, updated our link and are displaying only records in California and the new record already has California pre-filled in so as I navigate through various records you can see here that um, and then when I click the link button the the embedded grid is automatically linked. So in order to actually make this uh, link button work, let's go back and see how that was done. So go back to design mode and there's our link button and if we bring up action JavaScript we see that uh, there's because the feature pack is installed there's a new action in dialogs here. So uh, previously we showed how you use the uh, search grid component that is embedded. So now this time we've chosen link a grid that has been embedded into a dialog. So uh, that's the action that we chose. And now let's go look at the definition of this action. So there's the name of the grid that we're uh, talking to. There's the grid alias. And then if we bring up the builder, we just specify what fields on the dialog contain the linking values and then what field in the grid component that our target grid uh, we're linking to. So in this case we're going to be linking to a field called bill underbar state underbar region and the linking value is going to be um, derived from this um, state field over there. So this shows how easy it is to actually build uh, the action for the link button uh, to actually go ahead now and when I press this link button um, perform the actual link. So um, and then you can see as I navigate through the records with my data binding every time I arrive on a record and then press the link button you can see we automatically link. So in the next video I'm going to show how you can automatically set up live linking and uh, uh, we'll pause here and then pick it up in the next video.